he knows this isn't over. He wants the truth to come to light, and the Texas House is working to do that, and we hope that the courts and others will follow suit. State Representative John Busey speaking on behalf of Robert Robertson, whose execution for the shaken baby death of his toddler daughter was temporarily halted in Huntsville just 90 minutes before scheduled lethal injection. And it was done by a truly extraordinary action. With all appeals exhausted, the bipartisan Texas House Committee on Criminal Jurisprudence issued a subpoena for Robertson's testimony, essentially prolonging his life. Panel, this reprieve comes as substantial evidence has emerged indicating the basis of shaken baby homicide convictions may well be junk science, not to mention the suppressed fact that Robertson's daughter suffered from pre-existing life-threatening pneumonia and sepsis prior to her death. Thank goodness we got Chris Tritico here. What's going on, Chris? So, the, um, so let me back up and explain a little bit about the way the law works in Texas. The, the governor cannot grant a pardon in Texas unless the Board of Pardons and Paroles approves it. The Board of Pardons and Paroles is all appointed by the governor. Um, the, the sole authority in Texas to intervene on an execution is the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals. Mm -hmm. They denied his writ of habeas corpus mm -hmm. and we're gonna let, <clears throat> gonna let him get executed. Mm -hmm. The Texas Court of Criminal Appeals on October the 9th, 2024, granted a writ of habeas corpus in another case, a shaken baby case, six to three, and said we find that if newly, dis newly that if the newly evolved scientific evidence were presented in ap at applicant's trial, it is more likely than not he would have been not have been convicted. There is no scientific validation to the claim that shaking al shaking alone can cause the injuries. The current science indicates that that there must be an impact. In other words, the Texas Court of Criminal Appeals on October the 9th said there is no scientific validation to shaking baby syndrome and reversed a case, a conviction on shaking baby syndrome, and yet they were going to let this man get executed. And, go and the Governor Abbott refused to give him a 30-day stay. The United States Supreme Court refused to intervene. And they were going to let this man die for no reason at all except politics, because in Texas we do not intervene on death penalty cases. We let people die. It's disgusting. Well said, Counselor. Uh, April, you've been looking at this too. I mean, there was substantial evidence against Robertson. This is the thing. The guy was convicted. However, as science evolves, there's a lot of cases right now that can be proven, people can be proven innocent because of DNA that wasn't available in the 70s or 80s, right? So science has evolved, science has evolved. However, there's a lot of other facts with this case. For example, medical neglect. The child wasn't taken to the hospital in a reasonable amount of time. Also, a page list of injuries to a child. I think it was a mistake for the prosecution at the time, but they felt strongly to go forward with the baby shaken uh, homicide case against him. However, now he should probably have a new trial and only have the facts presented of medical neglect and the injuries to a child based on the autopsy report because the science has evolved and it's no longer backing up this type of prosecution. So is he completely innocent? And I think this is no. But I do think that this is why the Supreme Court and Governor Abbott didn't want to touch it. You have to really read the autopsy report. The child suffered.